Now that we have a basic understanding of what pads are, let's take a look at how we can create our own pads here inside of GIMP by using something called the Paths tool. In order to do this, I'm going to start a brand new document, and I'm going to show you two ways to create a path. So I'm going to just stick with the 800 by 600 document here, and I'm going to make sure I'm working with the Paths tool. You can get to that by hitting the letter B on your keyboard. When you get to the letter B on your keyboard and you get to the Paths tool, you're going to see the tool option switch to Paths mode, and you can choose between Design, Edit, and Move mode. And so Design mode basically means that you want to design a path or create a path. You can also choose polygonal if you want to restrict the editing to only the polygons that exist on screen. And so right now what I want to do is just be in design mode with nothing else selected. And so basically what you're able to do here is just click and click to add two points. And these two points have an anchor point on each end and then a line segment connecting them in between. You can continue adding points to this. And one of the interesting things about the Paths tool inside of GIMP is the fact that when I get back over to this path right here, you would expect this to close the path and make a full shape. However, when you first do this, you click on this, nothing happens in between these two points except for right here, this becomes now the active point. So now I can continue drawing from this point. And I can go down around like so. So that's kind of an interesting change in my opinion, from a traditional pin tool or paths tool as it might be called here inside of this program. Now you can hold down Command or Control Z to undo your path, so I'll just do that until I get back to my original. And so traditionally when you just click around it creates nothing but straight lines. If you wanted to modify this in some way, all you have to do is come to one of the points, hold down the Command key on the Mac, the Control key on the PC, you'll notice when I do that the icon changes a little bit. And you'll also notice that over here in the Paths panel, as I'm holding down the Command or Control key, that it has temporarily switched to Edit Mode. Watch if I release my Command key, it switches to Design Mode. Holding it down again switches to Edit Mode. So this allows me to actually take a straight segment and add directional points to it. So I can then control its curvature. So I could curve this up, something like that. And then it switches back to Design Mode, where I can then continue to make changes to it like so. So that's a pretty neat little addition to this tool as well. One of the best parts about this tool is the fact that you can use this tool to create very complex paths around different objects that might be a little bit more complex than say a rectangle or an elliptical select tool could get you. So let's undo all the way back to where we have nothing on screen and I'm going to show you how to draw a curved segment. That's one of the things people want to know the most about is how to draw the curves. So in order to draw a curve, instead of just clicking and releasing your mouse and then moving on to the next point, instead this time click and hold somewhere on the screen and then just drag the points outward. It does not matter where you drag them right now because we're going to fix this in just a moment. And then once you do that, release your mouse, find another piece on the screen where you want to put your second point, doesn't matter where, and then click and hold with your mouse. Do not let go of the mouse yet. Now the key to curves when drawing these things is to always make sure that you drag the point in the opposite direction you want your curve to go. So if I wanted to draw an S curve from this, I would actually pull down so that this curve goes up. If I wanted to draw a regular curve, I just go up so that the curve goes down and then I can control the curvature by twisting this point around. So again, drag it in the opposite direction you want the curve to go. When you're finished, release it, and you're pretty much done. So this would be a great little path to put some text along the side of it or whatever I wanted to do with it. I could also combine it with other straight segments to make selections of objects. Very cool, the things that you can do with the Paths tool. Now there's one other mode inside of the Paths tool. It's called the Move mode, and this essentially allows you to come out here and grab this path and actually physically move it around. If you were to switch to edit mode without holding down the command or control key, this gives you the ability to come out here and just freely mess with a path like so. You can also switch what points you're working on. If you happen to come over here though and you see the two little circles conjoined like this, that means you're about to connect these two segments. And if you do that, it connects them back and that has now become a shape. So this is how you complete a shape using the pastel. So this would be actually a pretty neat way to draw something like a leaf. 
So you can see here if I just kind of position this here, mess with this angle just a little bit. There we go. Made kind of an interesting little kind of leaf shape or pear shape, whatever you think that might look like. Totally up to you. And so this is a great little tool that you can draw some really nice vector shapes, which you can then turn into a selection. And you do that by coming over to the pads panel and clicking on path to selection. Once you click on path to selection, it gives you an active selection around the object that you're working on. And so now I can move into the layers panel. I can create a new layer and I'll just hit OK. Once I do that, I have an active selection on that layer. I'll go over to the paths panel really quick and I can actually throw this path away. Don't need that anymore. Go back over into my layers panel and I can now fill this with a color. So let's say this was a leaf. I'll select a green color. Hit OK. Grab my paint bucket tool and fill it. And now I have this green shape and I can use Shift Command A or Shift Control A on the PC to deselect it. I can then take my rotate tool, bring that out here, and I can rotate this object around. Hit rotate. And there we go. So there's my nice little leaf shape. I can then copy that, duplicate it around, turn it into a flower. I could do lots of different things with it. But I started it all with the paths tool. So I hope now you have a better understanding of how to draw both straight and curved segments using the Paths tool. You can use that to create your own shapes or to make complex selections around objects to create composites. It's a very powerful tool. It will take some practice, but eventually you can nail it down and you can turn it into one of your really big essential workflow pieces.